are back with another shuffle tutorial. I know you guys have been waiting. I know, we're here, we're back. We're here, we're back, we're here, we're back. Today what I wanted to talk about was speed. So I know a lot of people struggle when it comes to doing the running man faster or shuffling faster because the running man in and of itself is a very simple basic move. You slow it down, it's pretty easy to do. The hard part is doing it to the tempo, doing it faster, right? So we're gonna go over some tips tricks as well as slowly progress our way to be able to do it faster and faster all in this little tutorial and also just want to remind you guys you can be a part of my shuffle squad by clicking the join button down below basically what you get with that is to be a part of the community where we do lives together i've been giving my shuffle squad members feedback on their shuffling videos and you also get exclusive tutorials and stuff like that and it also helps support your girl. Another option, if you're interested, I do one-on-one -on -one shuffle coaching. Link to apply is down below. Um, anyways, let's get started. All right, so let's go over our tips. Number one thing that you want to remember is efficiency. You need to be efficient with your movements. That can mean one of two things. One, we can take smaller strides or have a shorter stance. So instead of being here, I can be right here because then I have less distance that I have to move my legs if I'm here rather than if I'm here. Second thing is with our hops. We don't want to hop too high. I don't want to be like hop, 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 hop. I want to hop just high enough so that I'm not just sliding my foot back. So I'm barely picking my foot up just so that I can slide it back. Boom, 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 boom. Right, if I'm just sliding right, that's a lot harder to do, and I'm gonna use a lot of energy, which we don't want either. But I think a good cue to remember is to listen for the shuffling of your feet rather than the hopping of your feet. So you heard the difference? It's, you can hear I'm hopping a lot, you can hear that click, 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 versus brush, 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 brush. So you wanna hear that slide. So that's tip number one, move efficiently by having a shorter stance and smaller hops. The second tip is to generate the bounce from the balls of your feet. So when I'm shuffling, most of my bounce is coming from the balls of my feet right here. So when I land and I push off the floor, I'm pushing from the balls of my feet. This allows me to stay light on my feet, it helps me be quick, and it gives me really controlled bounces. So it's like just da, 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 instead of jump, 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 jump. Think light and controlled bounces using the balls of your feet. So da, 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 da. And that goes along with having smaller bounces from the first tip. So then the third tip is when you're doing the running man, focus on the foot you're landing forward. So what I mean by that is instead of thinking spread your legs, I want you to focus on just stepping your front foot down. And then your back foot just sort of follows. So then we come together and I think step this foot down. Step this foot down. Just focus on that front foot. Go step, 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 step. So for instance, when you see hard style shufflers, if you've ever looked up any hard style shuffling, which if you haven't, you should right now. So they're shuffling to really fast music and really fast tempo, and you'll notice the back foot is making small movements and their front foot is really making these like steps, steps, steps. They are bringing their knees high and it looks really aggressive and it looks like they're making it big, but their back foot isn't moving all too much. And they're really just focusing on like stepping this foot down and the back foot hops just a little bit. So it's like step, 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 step this foot down, step this foot down, push it down, push your knee down, push your knee down. So kind of take that idea and really think like stepping this foot down and just letting your back foot follow. This can even work if you're even trying to get to even faster tempo. So like for instance, I've been trying to shuffle to like side trance and hard sound myself. And these are the tips that I kind of start to implement when I'm trying to pick up my speed even faster. Now the fourth tip, we can start to implement some moves that are a little bit easier that will allow us to stay on tempo without getting tired from doing something like the running man. So, a couple things that you can implement are what would be like double taps, which would just be like one, two, 
right? So I just tap forward twice, or I tap back twice. So what that would look like with the running man, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When I'm double tapping, I'm kind of hopping on this back foot too, just to stay on the tempo. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's a lot easier to just kind of go one, two, than to do a full running man, right? So if you think about it, it's kind of similar to like rocking where you go like one, two, three, four. You're kind of just double tapping in a way. So maybe start to implement rocking when you're working on those faster tempos and just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, because all I'm doing is just one and two and three and four and then tapping my foot to that tempo. I find that rocking and like doing those kinds of movements are way easier to do at faster tempos than um, something like the running man, right? Moral of the story, work smarter, not harder. And the last tip is to just go for it. They're gonna feel dumb sometimes trying to go to that faster music, but you've got to try it out. We've all felt stupid trying to shuffle to faster music and feeling like you just look so dumb. I've been there, every shuffler's been there. You just gotta go for it, and the more you do it, the more you practice it, the more you won't feel dumb, the better it will look, the better you will get. So just go for it, push yourself out of your comfort zone, and try that faster BPM. Mm, mm, mm. So now we're gonna actually practice and implement these tips to work on our speed with our running man. I am going to create a playlist for you guys to practice to on your own. That will be in order of BPM, so it'll start with the slow BPM and then it will increase as it gets to the bottom. So that way you can kind of practice slowly working on increasing your speed and dancing to music. But right now what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna set up a metronome to a tempo and we are gonna practice to Implement the tips that I gave you. Implement those double taps if you start to feel like you're falling off pace or even take a pause if you need to. But try your best to keep up with it and we'll slowly start increasing it and see how it goes. So most like house songs I believe are around like 120, 126 beats per minute. So that's a really good goal to shoot for but we're going to start slow. We're going to start at like 100 beats per minute. Okay?
30. Break time. for like a lot of trance songs. Um, so if you can hit 135, props. Let's see if I can hit it too. <laughs> Join the Shuffle Squad. Love to see you there. I'm also going to link that playlist for you guys down below. It'll be on Spotify. If you want, I will also make a playlist on YouTube. Let me know if that's something you guys want. But other than that, I love you guys. Sending all the good vibes your way. Peace.